Uh, I've been with the Astronomical Society for 10 years, but the Astronomical Society of Glasgow was founded in 1896. So it's been going all that time. I'm part of the society because of a lifelong interest in astronomy and in space science. I'm one of a generation of what we call the space kids. I was born in the space age. I was the last in the family to be born, but everybody else before me was born before the space age. That's October the 4th, 1957, when Sputnik was launched. So I guess I'm a product of the space age and that's where the interest comes from. The main purpose of the society is to pr promote astronomy in all its forums and to publicise it as far as possible. And one of the big things we do is uh, something we call public outreach. So we engage with the public on this by doing shows uh, publicly and in places like uh, the Royal uh, Society for the Protection of Birds down at Loch Winnock or at uh, Rook and Glen Park or at the Botanic Gardens in Glasgow where the public come along and we can bring our telescopes along, members, members will bring their telescopes and if the sky is clear we can let them see stars, moons, planets, whatever's on show that night. And uh, we generally get to engage with them and get them interested in the subject. Uh, we are the door openers for the next generation, especially children. If you get them under the age of 10 and get them hooked in the subject, they tend to stick with it for life. We're looking at things within our own galaxy, all the stars we can see within our own galaxy, but beyond that, we're looking at other galaxies. Now, the furthest you can see with your uh, natural vision is two million light years. That's looking at the Andromeda galaxy, which appears to your eye as a very faint smudge. Now, that's two million light years away, so that means the light that left that galaxy has been travelling for two million years before it hits your retina. But with a telescope, you can see a bit further than that. So you can magnify the view and you can see a few light years beyond. The society is growing and the interest in astronomy from the public is growing because when I was a boy, there was only one way to get astronomy on. And that was on TV. That was a sky at night hosted by Patrick Moore. And that was once a month. And there was no such thing as the internet, but they did have public libraries. So if you wanted to read up on astronomy, you could get the books and do so. And if you're very lucky, you could take binoculars or a telescope out and go look at the sky. But today, because of the internet and because of television, uh, there is so much more interest in astronomy. And there's so much more going on now. Uh, satellites have been launched almost every month. New discoveries have been made almost every week. So there's so much more going on now than when I was a boy. So... It's, uh, it's, a, it's a big development, yeah. Do I suspect there's life out there? And I do suspect it. Put it this way, it's a big, big universe. It's 14 and a half billion years old. The Earth is four and a half billion years old. The solar system, 4.6 billion years old. And we've been going as a civilization for 10,000 years. And we now know that there are planets around stars. When I was a boy, we didn't know that. We did not know until the mid-90s that there were other planets around stars. We couldn't even say there were other solar systems. But now we can. We know there are thousands of them. And there's probably millions, if not billions, of planets out there. So some, one of them has probably got some form of life on it. Whether we'll ever meet it, I don't know. Maybe we're just too far away. But I do suspect it's there. Just so vast, there's so many other worlds, it can't be just us.